So last night we finished up putting on the rear sway bar from Vic Auto Sports. I modified the instructions and I welded stuff into place instead of drilling holes and bolting through. But you could do it in your own garage without a welder. It'll just be more frustrating and more, well, it'll just be more. Probably, I don't know. You know how these cars are. <laughs> so I shut it off at like three o'clock, went inside, took a nap, now we're back. The car is filthy, it drives me nuts. But I'm not gonna clean it right now. What I'm gonna do is, taking out the whole rear suspension for modification, sandblasting, welding, painting, rebuilding, and then put it all back together. And then while it's out of the car, I can clean up inside the fender wells better. I did some of that already. We're gonna put the Vic Auto Sports coilover adjustable rear struts, and I can clean up and get some of that stuff done inside the engine compartment where the suspension goes. I'll, I'll do it in stages so I don't overwhelm myself. And I still have to work on this truck, but it's a weekend, and so, you know, I've devoted weekends to the Bertone. Um, let me clean this up, make some space. I still haven't found my orange cutters. They're, they'll show up sooner or later, but I really like those things. And now I can't find them and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> Since we have the engine out and the drive shaft, or the drive shaft, the CV axles, the drivetrain, the spinny parts, whatever you want to call it, removed, we can just take this off. Otherwise, you're going to have to disconnect each drive shaft, CV axle, spinny thingy, before you can take this off. There's three points of contact. It's not that hard. This has to come off. This is your brake caliper. This is your parking brake cable. So to get the brake caliper out of the way, I like to take the parking brake cable loose. Otherwise, this puts a lot of pressure on it. But let's just try it without and see what happens.
and then they make these caliper hangers you can use a piece of rod but I was lucky enough that somebody sent me this because I was not using one so you can hook this here and then there's a hook hole somewhere you can't see three points of contact and then this thing will come off I don't want to lose those so like I did the last time I'm going to take these bottom points loose and then drop it from the top so these big bastards down here are 22s then put your pieces back together and put them in a baggie so you don't misplace them or confuse them with something else the only thing to hold this on is the strut mount so three little 10 millimeter bolts this thing's kind of heavy don't have your foot underneath it it's gonna fall <laughs> Watch out for flying 10 millimeter sockets. So to cushion it, I'm gonna hold it. Got it. So for the rest of this, we're going to the bench. Suspension. So this is your McPherson strut. It's a shock and a spring all incorporated into one unit. And then this is your A-arm. Goes up and down. And then this is like a track bar, a panard bar. It keeps the suspension centered when it's going up and down. So you can see how it pivots here. There's not a whole lot of this movement going on in the car. It's mostly like up and down only. So this doesn't move a lot, but it does move. And this is a tie rod end to a makeshift time joint. But since we're taking everything off, we're gonna take everything off. First thing I'm going to do is take off this strut, these bolts right here. So this is trash, we're not using it anymore. It's factory original. It says Fiat made in Italy. It doesn't have a date stamp on there that I can see. 128 BSTC So to get this steering well, it's not a steering knuckle to get this suspension knuckle <clears throat> off to take this one off and then the ball joint down here So this has got a cotter pin through it and a nut to hold it on And I think we can get a tool on there Yeah, it's okay. 
Who'd have thought it? Not me. Never would have. Now, you can try to hammer this out. Sometimes that works. Give it some taps here. Okay, it's loose. Now I'm going to pull it loose from here. Good, we're still working with 22s. Sometimes you lose torque when you use that. So one end is a tie rod and the other end we could call this just a regular suspension bushing and there ain't much going on in there so I'm gonna say we're gonna keep this this is still pretty stiff so we'll keep this too we'll clean it up and we'll re-grease it and reuse it. This one has a little spring clip that holds it on so we can pop this off, take this off, clean it up, grease it up, put it all back together and then reinstall. Okay so next is this ball joint on the bottom. Probably going to be a 22. Yes. And then second verse, same as the first, you tap on this part. nut back on so you don't mess up the threads and then look at that that's what I thought there's got to be a way hold on so we're hitting down this hub drive shaft now and you can't get this off I mean, they tapered it like you could. But you can't. So. Flip it over. We got to take this off. And then all it, well, we're going to have to take the brake off. Okay, so first we're going to take this, <laughs> brake assembly off, where's my 17, why isn't it back where, here it is, get this off we need to fix this tab somebody's had this off before 
Looks like three times total. Thirty millimeters. And then I'm holding it in, but then this thing just pulled out. Grease, 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 grease. So our wheel bearings and everything else are inside here. If I want to take this off, then I got to take these off. These are 12s. So we can pull our we can pull our AR out. Put this nut back on this. These hold the five millimeter spacer on. So here's your five millimeter spacer. And then this is the rotor. And then this is your hub. And there's one 10 millimeter holding on this dust cover. No offense, but I'm not running it. So now what we have left is our wheel hub inside of our knuckle. Big spacer goes on that. If there's any movement in this at all other than turning, you get you have to replace it. This one's fine. I'm just looking at it. This actually feels pretty good too. You don't see many ball joints for sale because they're riveted in, but this one's okay. I don't feel any play in it. I can hear grease, but again, we'll take it apart, clean it up, re-grease it, put it back together. This is from dropping the motor on it while the transmission side. I did some of this, but it came like this too. So we're gonna fix all of this. Gotta get, this car's gonna be 10 pounds lighter. When we get all of the stuff out of it. So the last thing I want to do is pull this rubber boot off. It's a wire springy type. It's wrapped around. But we should be able to get it off. So don't tear the rubber. You can probably find replacement rubber. God damn it. But it's been a pain. So this is the ball joint. 